The NHS in the UK is the world's largest publicly funded health service. But despite being one of the most efficient, debates rage about how to narrow a funding gap that could grow to as much as £30 billion by 2020. One way of bringing costs down is through the use of new technology. For example, a scan and tracking solution has been installed in several hospitals, helping staff track and recover patient files more efficiently. In other hospitals, an electronic patient record is bringing together onto one database all the work streams of clinicians treating patients with HIV. The company behind these technological innovations has a presence in the UK, but its headquarters are 1,700 miles away on a small island in the Mediterranean. Nearly one and a half million tourists come here to the Mediterranean island of Malta every year. Tourism accounts for over 25% of the nation's GDP. But now, as Malta celebrates the 10th anniversary of its membership to the European Union, so other sectors are beginning to make a significant contribution to the Maltese economy. Notably gaming, pharma, financial services, IT and healthcare. Six PM was established in 1996 as an IT company. Eight years later, entry into the EU changed the Maltese cost base. Paying the new higher salaries became unsustainable. When the worldwide recession took hold in 2008-9, Six PM's turnover fell from six million euro a year to just two million. Fortunes began to change in 2010 when it won the contract to build a data warehouse for the NHS called Care Solutions, which was used in several hospitals. But the IT landscape was a crowded one, so 6PM had to adapt. It began to build joint venture products with clinicians. Four years later, 6PM is one of the largest providers of software solutions to the healthcare sector. 6PM is an exceptional example of how you use innovation to make a pivot in a company's strategies. 6PM was in difficulty, it identified a new vertical market where they could apply some of their technologies that got very, very close to the customers in that marketplace, anticipating their needs to help develop solutions that could really make a difference to those customers. That helped them to secure their future. One of 6PM's first success stories is iFit, an electronic document management system launched in January 2013 and which keeps track of patient record movement around a hospital site. Today it's used by eight hospital trusts. It has been a game changer from a revenue perspective for this company. It's been a game changer from the feel within our own organisation. We really feel that we have a product now that uh, we're going to actually you know, keep on growing around it. And the beauty of it is that the moment it opens that door for us, then uh, stroke pads starts coming into play, then HIV climate starts coming into play, then it's earning us the right to be there. Better tracking of files is not just um, an IT solution, it's actually a business solution because people now have a more streamlined business process and are more, less likely to have to cancel appointments, which, which is a terrible inconvenience for the patient and the uh, clinician and also a cost to the hospital. In designing another of its products, Climate HIV, effectively an HIV clinic in a box, 6PM worked closely with Dr. Akim Schwenk, one of the leading HIV clinicians from the North Middlesex Hospital in London. Unless you bring Dr. Schwenk into the formula, unless he is going to be part of the development team, unless he is going to basically provide the vision, the business vision, of what that clinic feels like and how that software should behave within that environment, with all the emotional conditions, with all the business conditions, what type of quality are you going to produce? My opinion, zilch. The way 6PM delivers benefit is by getting what the clinicians know, providing good, um, good support to them and basically having a friend relationship and not a business to business relationship. That, that's the key thing, that we are their friends. Working in this collaborative way gives 6PM software developers a deeper understanding of how technology can benefit the working lives of clinicians.
When we employ new recruits, uh, they are fantastic people, you know, they come from very good background in terms of university, academia, but the one thing they don't have is the experience to see a child who is suffering of HIV in a cot. Today, uh, as I remind them on a regular basis, you are not working for 6 p.m. You are working for that child in that bed who's suffering of HIV. 6 p.m. has also found a niche for its products on its own doorstep. 17% of Malta's population is over 65, and through its sister company, MCare, 6 p.m. has developed solutions exclusively for many of the island's senior citizens. It supplies eight care homes, accommodating over 1,000 people with medical products, as well as with software that automatically logs patients' results onto a database, allowing a doctor to study them remotely. MCare has also fitted 12,000 private homes with e-monitoring equipment that sends information on a resident's health via Bluetooth to a GP or next of kin. Homes are also fitted with panic and intruder buttons that connect residents directly to a call centre. These people are now effectively from their own home able to take their own blood pressure test, their, their glucose test if they're diabetes, and the reality it's enriching, it's rewarding. It's rewarding both personally and commercially. Since the dark days of the recession, 6pm's turnover has increased to over 10.5 million euro. In the States, you know, one of our most exciting projects and products which we hope to be launching sometime in the future is to enable uh, hospitals and uh, medical institutions to identify better the leaked revenue or the cost management that they need to do. Uh, and we believe it's a huge market and there is no doubt uh, that 6pm will keep on actually putting its footprint on the world map.